All right, I hand the meeting over to you. Oh, well, thank you very much. Thank you all. Um, the next item on the agenda would be the minutes. Of no, the, I mean, sorry. The rest of it. Oh, yes. I do. I need to say that. I even had them all written down. <laughs> we have to appoint a vice chair. I don't think we nominate and vote on it. Correct. I believe it's an appointment, or is it? Um, they've nominated it. Okay. I only know Frontier, I would so. I would open, I mean, I'd entertain a motion for nomination for vice chair if we had one. David, you, are you sure. Vice chair again? Yeah, sure. I would nominate David. Second. Sure, can do that. We have a motion and a second. Do we have any other nominations? Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? None. It is unanimous. Everything else is appointed. So we would need to have a frontier representative. And Mary has served capably for yeah. many, many years. Mm -hmm. Would you like to continue? I'd like to continue. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I can appoint that. Power of you to business? Yeah. <laughs> so Mary would become frontier representative. And we have two other positions that oh, we have all capital those. improvements planning. Yes. We well, have secretary still. Yes, I was going to clerk secretary. Clerk, clerk secretary next. And then you've got a union 38 representatives, collaborative representatives, capital improvements planning committee. Okay, policy review committee. Negotiations. And negotiations team. You, you, I mean, I would just appoint this for some reason. Right. Okay. <coughs> um, so we would need to appoint the secretary. Jan had served as secretary the last couple of years, I believe. I think he has, um, yeah. There are no onerous <laughs> and duties involved with being the secretary, for the most part. Uh, there's a, an occasional document that might need to be signed, but beyond that, we don't require the secretary to take the minutes. Um, a member generally does that. or. Um, I could try to continue to do it even as I'm chairing. Um, doesn't bother me. Uh, so, if you'd be interested in being our secretary, I could do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, Union Thirty Eight representatives. We have three. Just just so we can um, fill in the. Blanks. We have three voting representatives out of our five members. All five members can participate in joint committee meetings, which is what the Union 38 representatives are eligible to vote in, but only three of us vote. Um, so that every town has three representatives that can vote uh, when it comes to a, a joint meeting. And we don't outweigh any of the other towns. It becomes right. even, even split all the way across assuming all members are present. So um, David, myself, and Trevor have been the three voting reps. Uh, Mary serves as a frontier right. representative, so she has a vote. Uh, well, she doesn't have a vote in the joint meetings, I'm sorry, but generally when we have the joint meetings, she is participating on the frontier side. Um, so I, I, if you're interested in being a voting member, or if, feel a burning desire to be one, I could certainly <coughs> step aside. Um, um, I'd be happy to do it if someone did want to step aside. Okay. Um, but or if, if you are happy to continue, that's Okay. Fine. Or I may just continue with the three that we have for now. Because <coughs> I forgot I'm a chair. Yeah, just <laughs> I'm a chair. So, so I can't be a chair. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it gets it's complicated. Yeah. Difficult. <laughs> so, what? As, as I was say, I think it would be good if you would yes, stay okay. because of that. Uh, mm -hmm. Knowledge and wisdom and longevity. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and I'll also <coughs> talk about the chair's meeting that I want to do, which will have an effect on that. Mm -hmm. And David. plugged in there. Yeah. And Trevor. I do enjoy having to say that. You'd like to call from Valentine's Day dinner to get up there and make sure you vote? Yes, we enjoy that too. Sorry about that. I am dedicated. Yes. <laughs> Clearly, you make the, uh, the push. There's a position here that Jan had been filling for us for a year or two. It's um, 
the collaborative in uh, it used to be the Hampshire Educational Collaborative, mm -hmm. and it's now just the collaborative. Um, but they provide cool. special education services and uh, professional development services and a myriad of other services statewide. But the Frontier Regional District, Deerfield Elementary School, and the Union 38 schools all um, pay a membership association fee and serve, and we have a representative on their board. The board meets every other, every other month, every other month um, throughout the year. It's usually about a two hour meeting. Um, Dinner served. What's that? Dinner served. Yeah, there's a. <laughs> Hey, dinner is served. Um, I don't know if they if you can't meet up here. Anymore. Mm -hmm. No, it's all time. it's all in Northampton. It's all in Northampton. Yep, typically, so it's yep. it's down in Northampton. Um, it's pretty interesting to get a feel for special education services, um, but it is an obligation every other month of about two hours. That doesn't. It does sound and You learn a ton there. I mean, yeah, you really and you do, do learn, learn a lot. I've like learned that. more than anything. You know. And you meet other representatives from other districts. Yes, yeah. <coughs> collaborate quite a bit. Yeah. So, hence the word collaborate. <laughs> 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 He's good at it. You can see how he got what. Yeah. <laughs> so, so then we will appoint Carrie. Thank you for doing that. Thank, thank, thank you. It's one of those also awesome those meetings if something in your life comes up and you can't mm -hmm. make it. Yeah. You know, okay. they've, got, they've got a it's big core. Of, it's, a, it's a big group and yep. um, yeah, they want us there. But mm -hmm. I'm just letting you know what the facts are. It's yes. Most people try to make two or two out of the four meetings or you know, three out of the four meetings, that kind of stuff. I'm just kind of putting it out there. But, you know, yeah, something. Mm -hmm. Don't stress yeah. yourself out. Think right. it's really just, you know. yeah. um, Capital Improvements Planning Committee. This is a the School committee has, by the town's bylaws, has a rep representative that serves on the capital improvements planning committee, uh, and that that involves anywhere from five to ten meetings a year, all concentrated in the December January timelines. Um, I've been serving on it. I'm I'm more than happy to continue to serve on it, but I I did miss. A number of meetings this year because I was out of town, um, and I and I intend to be out of town in February. <laughs> so I would, you know, if the committee wants, or if anybody on the committee wants to consider participating on that, anyone but Trevor, because yes. he's already in a quasi role as a select board member. Um, it would be difficult to have right. him serve. But right. if David, Mary, or Carrie's interested, otherwise I can continue and. Can you designate? Uh, can you designate someone? To, uh, is it a voting thing? In terms there is of like voting. There is voting, and it has to be a school committee member so by, could we just, by the bylaws. Is it possible for you to continue to do it, but to, for us to send a designee when you are sure. away? Sure. I, I would no, imagine no. we could do that. Okay. Absolutely. So I would happy to stand okay. do that. Stand yeah. in. Okay. Well, that's a great that idea. Works. I'm proud of that. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So. I will point myself to that. <laughs> Policy review committee. Should will that be as active in the coming year? Shouldn't be anywhere near as active. No, we, I mean, we may have a few that will come across that we may have to review. Yeah. Usually now they kind of you just went through everything, correct? Right. And so yeah. now it's about is it anything that new comes across or we have an issue that requires us to set a policy. So mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. It's kind of like it's it's on the on deck circle in case right. it's needed and right. we know who you know. What I mean, then we go, oh, you're on. They go, oh, oh darn, I got to meet next week. <laughs> <laughs> Would so you I'll want to continue to do I'll that? Do it. No, sure. whatever. Okay, so it'll be Mary. It's policy, and I'd like to continue with David and Trevor as the negotiations team. At least I don't know where we stand. I guess we're going to find out tonight where we stand. Yep. Okay. Um, so. I think it, for continuity's sake, I don't think we want to change any faces if we can avoid it at this stage. So, very good. Maybe full disclosure that I am not really I'm not on that this year, even though it says I am. We had little 
Yeah, you could be. Okay. Technically, you're not. I keep saying you're absent. <laughs> yes. Oh, because really? well, yeah. technically there was. Okay. Yep. Well, I think we had all the snafu then. Anyway. We did. I, I think yeah. there was a miscommunication. Okay. We, we, or misinterpretation. But. All right. Well, if you need that tie-breaking vote, that's right. <laughs> Um, I should, I, we, yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't think I would involve this go around. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, you are next time. It's not next time. It's not going to At this point, we're, 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 you have, no, the, yeah. you have yeah. the. I have no knowledge. Let's see the constitutional right. That's probably not correct. You have the school policy right to, to <laughs> right. attend next meeting. We have been moving along, and yeah. the full team that's there yeah. Right, right, yeah. 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 Solve representation. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, I wouldn't feel bad. And you should feel bad, right. but you should <laughs> you, you get over it. <laughs> So that should complete the reorganization. Um, and uh, we did review and approve the minutes of May 14, 2019. I move to approve those minutes on May 14. Second. Any comments? Changes or any other notes? Uh, hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 And opposed abstentions? It's 5 0. Financials and statements. Um, I have uh, a total of 14 warrants and vouchers um, for you for a total of $140,518.02. Um, I've also included in your materials the results, the expenditure results for May, and uh, again, just continuing the analysis of where we're heading uh, for the end of the year. Again, with two weeks left to go in the fiscal year, you're in a great place. Uh, there are some, uh, a few expenditures that still need to be made, um, you know, and I would again recommend that if we do come up with a positive balance that we potentially reclassify some expenses from school choice back into the local and, and leave money in school choice so that again you can just continue to be in that healthy place um, that you are now. So um, that would be my recommendation moving forward. That is good news. Yes, it is. Two weeks to go in the year. And thank you for thank you for the the good financial information mm -hmm. you've been providing. Great. <laughs> I became nationally uh, certified as a school finance and operations officer. Oh, great. And oh, sit for a three hour exam, which I hadn't done one of those in about 10 years. Uh, so it was about a month ago. So oh, congratulations. And then everything. So there you go. Now I'm an official SFO. So. There you go. Excellent. Good work. Bye. Public comment. So just on the. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Are you reading? No. No, no. Just oh, saying hi. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I didn't know if she was waving or moving. No, no, no. Um, I just wanted to thank Judy, Dr. Hull, for her work. Um, this will probably be her, unless we have an emergency meeting of some sort, this would be her last meeting with us. And um, she came to us mid year, as everybody knows, after starting. We started with TMS, but she jumped on mid year to kind of run the Deerfield books and just been very, very helpful, very thorough. And um, also good to have another former administrator to run things by in the office. So I appreciate everything you've done. Yes, thank you. Yeah. It's been a pleasure. Um, thank you. I actually enjoy coming to your meetings. So. <laughs> 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 I've always been able to say that. <laughs> so just to clarify, are we looking for any kind of a message or approval or vote about what to do with the fund balance? Um, there are some things that are that are still out. That later. You, uh, you don't necessarily need to vote it um, okay. per se. Yeah, I mean, this is just part of normal management of your finances. I mean, we, I know there are some incoming invoices, and Jane and Tina and I have talked about some things that she would like to purchase. Um, you know, with this year's funds, since there are some funds left uh, to be able to do some things. So she and I are going to come up with a spending plan um, later this week and drink those things taken care of so we can get the funds encumbered, et cetera. And then um, 
you know, I think by that point in time, there's a couple of maintenance things out there and such. Okay. You'll probably come pretty close. It won't be much left over. Okay, great. So, which is the way you want it to be. Your budget right. should no. be a good reflection of yeah. what your intended expenditures are. So. Yeah, and I think we would probably support yeah. anything the administration wanted to spend the mm -hmm. available money on. <laughs> I mean, yes, there had been talk of needing to take some of the funds and put it towards work with boilers, mm -hmm. electrical, and things like yeah. that. Yeah, and all of that's pretty much been taken care of. Has it? Okay, good. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've been watching some last minute invoices come in for June, so. Yeah. Okay. Probably via email, kind of let you know where the dust is settled when mm -hmm. we get to the end. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so we are down to public comment. We have none. <laughs> <laughs> and we will be to unfinished business, non union salary recommendations. We need to go to executive So session. I would recommend that we have two um, executive okay. sessions. So I would recommend if we, if the, the committee so desires to put that on hold, because that's going to require an executive session, um, okay. and then go forward with the school committee chairs, and then the reports, and then go to the executive session. Okay. Um, at the end for one block, that would be my okay. recommendation. Okay. Mm -hmm. That sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'll go right on to the next piece then. Okay. Um, so I wanted to talk about, uh, and, I, and I bring this up to the meeting as a, all, as a whole, because I want to have a meeting. I'm thinking about how I'm bouncing around from meeting to meeting, and a lot of the times we're voting on materials or being presented materials that really requires everybody to be on board with, yet if you're not first in line, you have a disadvantage where the whole process has a disadvantage. Now, now I'll use the, uh, the health grant as an example. So the last, you know, you guys approved that. It went through, everybody did approve it mm -hmm. uh, moving forward. But if you don't know what's coming and I don't have an idea of um, kind of direction to go with it, and you kind of get surprised, you know, you find it on the agenda, then you discuss it, but you're happening at, you know, you're the third or fourth meeting, and I'm like, three out of four have voted, or, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. And so that, and there's a lot of other kind of loose ends, like, example, the same thing happened with my evaluation. You know, um, it started, the discussion started at Wheatley. By the time it was really like a game of telephone, by the time it got to the last meeting, the, what the evaluation was going to look like had a lot of twists and turns, and I found myself trying to direct this committee to go with where it started rather than taking full input from everyone else. And so what I want to do is have a monthly or when needed chairs meeting to set the agenda for the month especially the joint meeting agenda because sometimes i'm also we've had a lot of discussion what should come on the joint meeting agendas and i want to make sure those meetings are not me doing all the um setting the parameters of it but the committees are setting the parameters of it so i want to create a meeting of the chairs to meet with me to help steer that and so that there's some it's not just you know, not, it's, it's just not all me kind of steering the whole thing. So, um, the reason why I should bring it to the whole committee is I can always call the chairs to meet with me, that kind of stuff. But there is an idea that the, it does give the chairs, well, in a way, it takes some administrative power away from me, but it, it gives some more power to the chairs because they're helping set the joint meeting agendas. Mm -hmm. And they're also setting what, what's going through, you know, all five meetings. And so, I don't know, I just found that, I found last month very, um, I don't want to use the word frustrating, but it was very kind of like, I don't know, I feel like I was doing kind of a song and dance and trying right. to get people on the same Instead board. Instead of getting and then, one shot. Yeah, and yeah, then makes sense. I, mean, I found myself even repeating conversations that other committees had to other committees to try to get yeah. them on the same page <laughs> on a material that if all the chairs are on the same page, the chairs can kind of have an idea. Um, in one case, I kind of bossed the chair around, and I, I apologize afterwards. But um, it, it was in, 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 in jest, but you know what I mean? How I can, you know, sometimes yes. I can just yes. kind of take over. I don't mean to. I mean, I mean to. Um, you understand what I'm saying? So, this is the idea that um, I don't know. I just want to, want to think about for next year having a meeting um, and so forth. And so, I, I, I kind of want, I don't know how this works if we have a 
you don't really need a blessing, but I guess it's the informal blessing of that it's, you know, that those meetings would occur. Because if I suddenly, if I felt if I suddenly started having meetings with chairs, other committee members are like, you know, what is he doing? You know, mm -hmm. what's this chair meeting about? Is right. there something going on? And that's not what it's about. It's more about setting mm -hmm. the agenda and everybody mm -hmm. on the same page at one yeah. time in the in the district, Correct. so that people kind of all get get the news at the same time, set the agenda at the same time. Correct. And of course, anybody probably through their per or through their own chair could bring an issue up if they had an issue wanted to discuss. You could pass it through the chair. The chair could bring it to the meeting. Yeah. And get it on the right. I mean, legally, the chair sets the agenda right. with consultation with the superintendent. And that's right. basically how it works. I mean, we kind of because we're, we're I have a business office. I mean, mm -hmm. not just business office, but an office that conducts the business. I set the agenda, get the chair's approval because I'm getting kind of correct. I'm doing all the the uh, clerical work on that kind of thing. Right. Mm -hmm. But you know, if the chair got a phone call or, or, or somebody else got a phone call and said we need to add the discussion of. Yeah. Blue flowers in the garden on the next chair committee. You know, I mean, the chair would say, I want to add this, or if somebody in a committee meeting that says we want to discuss, the chair can say it's not on the agenda, or the chair can say, you know what, we have time in today's agenda to, to address right. that, right. as long as it's not something that needs to be posted within 20, prior to 24 hours. So yep. it's not trying to, you know, that's just basically right. So I'm still <coughs> wondering, though, how. So I think that part is great for all the groundwork and getting mm -hmm. everybody's thoughts together ahead of time, but. When you bring something like the health grant to the committee, we're still going to be seeing it for yeah. the first time. Right. We still have that bump to get over with five committees seeing something for the first time, and everybody right. wants mm -hmm. to have yep. their input. Right? Yep. Oh, it still has a chance. Anything still has a chance of being discussed by one committee and not approved by one school district. Um, does, does having more should joint you, meetings? That's what I was just going to say. Should we have? Should you try to uh, smush in a couple more joint meetings? Well, I mean, we're really there, there's going to be, so you want everyone to add we've had quite a bit time. this year, and we're going to have quite a bit again, and I would say quite a bit. We're going to have a few extra next year because the committee's going to have to get together to vote the negotiation settlement, mm -hmm. um, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so right now we have one set for October, but, you know, pending the timeline of negotiations, everything goes smoothly this month. You're looking at probably a September joint meeting for that purpose. Mm -hmm. Now, then it becomes where I come at was do I add other things to the agenda? Right. So this is where when you know when we hired the business manager, I only kept one thing on the agenda because I personally felt like oh my god, I'm dragging everybody out for another meeting. You know what I mean? I don't want to add anything else to that agenda. Right. Make it very sweet. Come in, you know, very simple. Come in, make the vote, get out. Is that the agenda? But that's me setting that agenda when you know there's other. I know yeah. that I've always felt. I really enjoyed the joint meetings, and sure. um, I kind of feel like everybody's on the same page. I can hear where everyone's at. Um, feel like we do good business, but I do know it's taxing for the your office and getting warrants together and all that stuff. I know it's very hard to kind of put all that together mm -hmm. for your team. So um, I'm in favor of that. But I'm in, I'm in favor of the collaboration <coughs> with the chairs. I'm, I'm yeah, what's what's interesting what happened with those joint meetings that we got better. We did. We got better work. I mean, because the amount of meetings that had to occur starting last June, yep. with the changeover in the superintendency, and then through this year, yep. people started to know each other. And yeah. you know what I mean? Because it, it used to be a lot icier. I, mean, I used to sit right? and watch for many. It's not icy, but people didn't yeah, know. know. People right. yeah. They yeah. got a quirky personality. or got someone who's being funny. They're not really sure if they're being funny or if they're. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And everybody kind of kind of learned each other. Yeah. You know it's that. A, it's a good work. Because it is a good. I mean, I mean, all the committees are good people. Yeah. And they're. Sometimes it wasn't people weren't sure what the intentions were. People when they right. when they were always you know for the most part positive. Intention. So if I, mean, I think great conversation here um, are the agendas in the individual towns essentially the same? Almost month exactly. Month? Almost exactly. Based and the only thing that's, that changes on them are if you have individual issues. Okay, so you know so right. right. Everything's kind of the timing of the year is. You know, outside of budget season, obviously, mm -hmm. budget each, the, 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 the agenda is the same, outside but what you're talking about budget. is different. But outside of the budget season, if we went to, and because people asked, if we went to a joint meeting, from joint meeting structure, and the <coughs> receptions were the budget meetings in December, January, February, um, that might actually work to your advantage but right. I don't know the don't issue know the issue is the towns right the issue and the is, warrants and yeah I mean the issue is always the finances because mm -hmm. that really is the number one 
outside of hiring me. That, that's the number one thing that you guys really are. I mean, you've seen we're seeing policy and such, but it, as you know, that's not a moving thing from meeting to meeting. Mm -hmm. But they're really overseeing the budget and the budget process. You know, um, different towns are in different places. And, you know, I use Sunderland this year, and even Sunderland next year, they're going to have longer discussions regarding their budget because it's a tighter budget next year. So, in a joint meeting, I'd have to figure out how meet those needs and sometimes right. those aren't met in those, right. those so things. but but the joint meeting format that we've had was it has been joint meeting followed by individual meetings right the advantage of the joint meeting is to you can deal with the issue you're trying to avoid which is spread out over two or three weeks one committee making a slightly different decision or choice about something that you're bringing to all the committees right. around a central office right. policy or something like that but mm -hmm. the um, so that's a good reason for joint meetings. The bad reason for joint meetings is we individually get less of you mm -hmm. in our breakout session afterwards. Mm -hmm. But if what you're suggesting is so you know that there's certain committees that are going to need a little more of you after those meetings. But I would that, think but, also say this whole discussion is a great discussion for the chairs to have a conversation about mm -hmm. should we be putting this in a joint meeting to discuss right. this particular conversation. Yeah. and have some way to steer, because the other problem is when you have the joint meeting of 20, 25, mm -hmm. sometimes I lose how many, track, how many people are, my bosses are, um, is you just throw, you can't throw as many problems out and say, what should we do with this? Right. Gets, you know, what, what's for dinner? Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? No, no we got to kind of give the ingredients and say, yeah. you know, it this is what we got and we're thinking about Italian tonight. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so you're kind of, you know, you're pushing kind of a, at least a direction. And yes, it can be steered back by the, a different direction by the committee, but without some direction given with that large of a committee, that's kind of, you know, if that makes right. sense. Yeah, no, no, that makes sense. Well, maybe, yeah. Except maybe it uh, makes sense to kind of, you know, go the direction you're thinking of this year and then maybe next year. See what comes of it. You, well, yeah, as you, you meld it into. Well, the first, the first order of business of a chair's meeting will be my evaluation. Mm -hmm. So right now, I have Donna's collecting all the information. Yep. What yep. do I do with it? Right. You know what I mean? It's it's technically your evaluation of me. Right. It's my evaluation conducted by you. But I know you know I kind mm -hmm. of the, the legwork of putting it together. But what? Do, how do we do it? How do we want to present yep. it? How do you want to do it? Yeah. I mean, that was, and we did it as a trial. And yeah, yeah. How do we get input back from people? Right now, I set all that up, bring it to the first meeting, and then. Kind of, you know, you mean that's probably yeah. a good example. Is like, how should we present the findings of that meeting? Should there be a ta of not that they say meetings of the evaluation? Should we do a tally of it all? Should we break it out by committee? Do you know that mm -hmm. that kind of that's the you know I could, that I would set it now if I set the agenda for my own evaluation, right? People should be like, well, yeah, you better look good on it because you set up your own evaluation. You know what I mean? But you understand know, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you know that kind of thing. And so, um, and then from there, maybe we start there, and then we decide how we mm -hmm. want to. Um, because, it, you know, again, mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes the joint meetings, um, especially when I bring all other administrators to give reports on things, it's, you know, it's, t you know, for example, go back to the administration. If we had a joint meeting, that would have been easy. Right. They brought in, well, that's what everybody could have heard. Every the same discussion happened literally to a T. What's going to happen in year four? Are we yes. paying for another administrator? Right. Who's, what's the checks and balance on this? And so, again, what happened in meeting four is I said, you're gonna ask this, this, and this question. So let me answer it for you. It's like, can you please let us process? And I was like, oh, right. sorry. Yeah, you know, so, I don't know, and again, Mary, you're right. It doesn't, it doesn't alleviate that, but on some other areas, it does give me some direction. And if the chairs don't like it, they can say, Darius, this is not a meeting at work, so mm -hmm. this is another, you know, that kind of thing. And, and to, get the, to get those types of issues, up, if you know, as a chairperson, if we're sitting there and we say this makes more sense for a joint committee meeting, then you can set it aside. Set it I can set it aside for a joint committee meeting, no or we need line. to have a. If I say we need to have a joint committee meeting, yeah. because a number of issues a new joint meeting, technically speaking, each chair would have to agree, or no, I guess maybe just a. No, it would just be the chair of the joint would could have to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you understand how it kind of it, it turns into right. It pulls the, away power from the yeah, I know, but there's there's some talk, you know. I mean, yeah. Not talk about, but just I know. Not regionalize as people look at regionalization, but right. regionalize the administration exactly. of the five districts. Yep. 
Make it a little smoother. You know, yeah. it's not, you know, there's, there's thoughts. I got thoughts. We'll, yeah. we'll get there eventually. Not, mm -hmm. Don't get panic at home. Well, I support the direction anyway. So I support this direction anyways. And I, it seem, it, to me, it seems like an evolution kind of thing where you start here and then hopefully we wind up in a better spot. Just one of the slight drawbacks, of course, is that even when you get the chairs together, they can't go and bang their committee's heads together Correct. and get a consensus until the next meeting, <coughs> just because of our Correct. meeting meetings. So Correct. it doesn't really help you. I mean, it helps to freeze it a little bit, but you still may end up with committees that don't quickly get and ratify the same thing that you're wanting everyone to kind of do. Right. Like and I guess, again, but I'm looking for a trial of a couple meetings. Yeah, if we find out it's a waste of time or, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of thing, then then we don't do it. But I also right. felt weird if I just, I'm bringing it to the full camera again, I'm repeating myself now, but I felt weird like calling all the chairs up and saying, because it's, it's an unposted meeting meeting with the chairs, but there's no quorum. Right. So if I call all the chairs and people are like, why'd you need, you know, what's going yeah. on? You know, is there a crisis? <laughs> and he's looking for whatever, or is no it, you know? Really. And I don't yeah. want, and I kind of want people to feel, I saw it in a, from a different administrator do something where hand-selected school committee members were brought together to do things and it didn't feel correct. Mm -hmm. I saw that in the past. So yeah. I want to make sure that this is kind of done openly, good. that we're going to do this to. And so again, we started with the evaluation, which mm -hmm. is because um, we don't have a formal process or a past practice of how it was done. Right. You know, and I'd love to get it in the trial run because if there was, if there was distension among the different committees and we don't have a how you do it, I mean, something like that could just blow up. Right. You know? and, and so mm -hmm. anyway, okay. that's that. Sounds good. <clears throat> So we'll have a meeting at some point with the chairs to go over the evaluations, which <coughs> you guys need to fill out. Yes, I'm done. <clears throat> we didn't get a lot of time. No, I two weeks. Did you open it up? Wasn't it? It's no, pretty I straightforward. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I did <laughs> open it and I started and I got interrupted. So. I if you need an extension, talk to your chair. That can probably. I can <laughs> extend. That date was made up. I picked two weeks. And yeah. Then, That's um, fine. We're just like two weeks. Get it done. So, but it really that was a. Arbitrary day, middle of the month. Yep. Kind of day. It is multiple yes. choice. I get that. <laughs> there is some reports of information. information. Chair. Chair has no report. All right. Collaborative and no report because I'm on that, right? Well, that's me. Yes. So, I don't know if you guys know this, depth. but it's almost the end of the school year. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of community activities going on and traditions and ceremonies. Um, I just want to thank Tom Scalzo and all the gym teachers for Junior Olympics and the K2 Fun Day. That's always a fun event. <laughs> One of my favorite <laughs> activities. Oh my god, Kathy, because she, she wasn't in the K2 Fun. <laughs> I don't want to give that away. Um, is we do the slip and slide. Have you seen that with Trevor? Of oh, the Trevor. Oh the my Caleb. Gosh. End of the year. Yeah, with Caleb. Have you seen that? I don't think so. Oh my gosh, it's hilarious. There's like soap in water, and they go down the hill on these big plastic. Out back here. Oh gosh. <laughs> that must be so cute. So we had our K visitation night where we welcomed the new kindergarten families and kindergartners, and we just had our grade six versus teachers basketball game where Darius probably will not show up anymore because <laughs> I roped him into playing because we needed a little height on our team. Um, yeah. So I think he did get us one basket or two. I don't know. Uh, I this think is my house. I shouldn't have counted. <laughs> I should have counted. <laughs> uh, I was going to go with two because it's better to say that. Um, we had our community service day today too. So there's a new mural on the back library wall. I don't know if you noticed the, uh, the courtyards when you came in. Uh, students nice were job. busy working across the day today. What did first grade do? The front courtyard? Yeah. We planted blue pines in the front. Oh, yeah. it's beautiful out there. It really looks nice. Um, and we have recognition day on Thursday, so we're gearing up to come to an end. Yes. <laughs> I have a quick question on kindergarten. How we look? Uh, when do we get numbers and all that kind of stuff? So how was the? We have 16 in each classroom. Should I have brought those numbers? No, that's okay. Just curious. You have 16, yeah, in, 16 each class. in each classroom. Mm -hmm. class. I believe we took seven school choices. Okay.
Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay. So my report. Um, negotiation still ongoing with the teachers. We have a meeting tomorrow afternoon. Um, I'll give you more details on that with the executive. The director of facilities is interviews are underway. Um, I did ask Trevor to help with that. And, um, so he's serving on my search committee. His background and background in the building and also um, being from the towns is, is I thought was a great addition to the crew. So that's happening. Um, your superintendent evaluation is out. Let me know, not just evaluate me, but it's a member, it's also a practice kind of run to see if this is a format that we kind of want to build off of mm -hmm. moving forward. Um, um, this actually, I didn't update this. Um, this I wrote. It might be a collective. There might be a summer meeting for the for the Union Thirty Eight contract. But after um, I wrote this last Tuesday, we had a meeting since then. Um, the um, because the association needs to have a posted meeting to vote any changes we do to the contract, and we normally do not do that during the summer. I'm making some assumptions on on that part. Um, that they won't vote, we won't be voting a new contract until September. So um, I've had to send out letters of rehire using last year's numbers because nothing's gonna actually be approved until September, even if we, you know, we have a meeting tomorrow, even if we wrapped it up tomorrow, they still wouldn't, they have, to, they have a posting rule, you know, then I also, I have to have a joint meeting of this group. So really, by the time that contract gets finalized, it's going to be, it's going to be September because the way the summer works. So okay. just kind of bring that people's in. When I first wrote this, I was just kind of putting on people's radar that we may have a summer meeting, but I didn't realize that their the association had a posting rule and, and they don't yeah. like doing those meetings when people are away because there's no way they can. Um, right. So if they change that and that kind of thing, we'll maybe we'll have a summer meeting, but I don't think it's going. To okay. Um, I just want to do a heads up on what the administration is doing for our retreat. Um, we're going away to, um, we will, we are doing on the 20th, we are doing our di district goals and professional development plan. And then, on the t so it's a full day work day for all the, all the administrators. And then the 21st, we're doing something new this year. Um, I'm calling it a work day, because the only day they work all year, no. It is the, um, I'm bringing everybody together from the, you know, from all five schools. We have forms, five different forms in five different schools. And we have handbooks that are created differently in every single school. You know, each school needs to have some of its own flavor in its handbooks and stuff, but some of the organization and procedures and that kind of stuff, we just need to do more collaborating kind of putting together. So mm -hmm. um, we've already created, and Tim's actually was the one who kind of created the outline for it, um, created a work list of all the things that we want to work on, we're prioritizing it. Already it looks like it's going to take more than one day and the administrators are also feeling like they want to do another work day because they really think it's important because there's nothing worse than, you know, you get one field trip permission form from one elementary school and one from another school and they look different. They really right. should have the same with being a different logo at the top, that kind of stuff. And so as we change policies and that stuff, we can change in one spot. Also, our websites <clears throat> really need to have, if we're changing one thing, I don't. I shouldn't have to have to change it on five different sites. It should be linked right. to one main spot. Those kind of you say simple stuff, but the way things have developed over time, that hasn't been so. Kind of creating more streamlining there. Um, and then the 27th and 28th, um, we are the, the curriculum management solution company uh, CMSI was going to come out. I say was now because we got a snafu a day ago uh, or two days ago. Um, that the trainer is fallen ill and may not be coming out, so we're trying to figure out what we're gonna do with this place. But um, eventually, it's not gonna happen here, we're gonna do it at, the, at another time, but um, the curriculum management solution really looks at looking at evaluating, looking at evaluating your own curriculum and looking at evaluating instruction. We also need to have uniformity, so all principals are looking and seeing for the same thing. Um, this is something we do very well as a district. I have to, you know, as I talk with other superintendents, especially, regional district with different elementary schools. Our curriculum is very solid amongst all four schools. It could be very different. And a lot of other, I won't say a lot, other regional school districts that have the same kind of feeder system have different things coming out of different elementary schools and haven't coordinated like 
you know, what, you know, going back all the way back to Dr. Nash and um, Lee's Law, kind of making that so that all students say you can't, when you get to middle school, say you're from this town, you're from this town, based on right. just where their level is in math and that kind of stuff, that all the schools are moving along together. And that's, that's, and that's, and that's, been, that's been great. So um, again, this is keeping that moving forward and then how are we going to trickle that to improve our curriculum? So, because we, you know, we are already above average district but we have to keep moving that bar. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I keep moving that And then I don't have some more vacation plans. <laughs> Just a question. The, um, the administrative team, as it presently is constituted, are all full year employees now? Or are, do you have people that are? Yes. Okay, so there are, this team will all be? Yes, and any, right, and anybody who is a new hire, I worked out to either um, we do some more swapping of a day. Give me a day, I'll, get, I'll give you a day off in July if you come in June. Those who are starting July 1, I just do a horse swap of a day so they can be there. Didn't do that. But that's exactly. Okay. <laughs> didn't do it. Do that. They volunteered to come. That's right. So, <laughs> so, so right. Okay. I just, I just was curious because at one point in time, this was not a full year employee. I don't But not before my time. Not before your time. So, okay. I just wanted to. Yeah, and with all the summer programs going on right now, yeah. I don't know how you could do that without a full year that person. Okay. You know, um, Very good. So, all right. All right. So we are back to, uh, we are now up to executive session. No other board reports at this point in time. I mean, reports. So we would be looking for executive session, I'd entertain a motion to enter executive session. Can I do them both together? Yeah. You could say chapter 30A and 31A sections. Right. They're both. Yeah. Uh, so, pursuant to Mass General Laws chapter 30A, section 21 2, to conduct strategy sessions in preparation for negotiations with non union personnel or to conduct collective bargaining sessions or contract negotiations with non union personnel. And also pursuant to Mass General Laws, Chapter 31A, Section 21.3, to discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining or litigation if an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining or litigating position of the public body in this area. Does so declare. Second. Okay. Um, roll call. Roll call. Ken, yes. David? Yes. Trevor McDaniel, yes. Mary? Yes. Terry? Yes. Okay, and uh, section two, and we'll do one more roll call on the 31A or no? I think we can do them together. together. Yeah. You okay. Both subjects will be, you're declaring that both subjects will be discussed. Yes. You have to declare what you're discussing. I think you're okay. Are we inviting anybody? You passed the test, right? And we are yeah. inviting the. We are inviting. You, you, invite, you, invite you can invite team. both. Team yeah. Okay. So we have. Don't let them out. Both of you. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're going to be right here. Yep. Very good. Um, so we will, and we will reconvene and vote. It is possible you could take a vote. Yeah. Uh, and then what you guys said to do. Okay. So go so either way. It's your choice whether you want to stick around for when we reconvene. But uh, <laughs> at this point, then we're going into executive session. All right. I'll just. So we are back in session. Thank you. And we have um, one item on the agenda for voting, and that would be the fiscal 2020. Oh, God, it's depressing to say that. <laughs> Time is flying. Uh, Non-union salary recommendations schedule that uh, we have discussed. So I would entertain a motion if there is one here. I make a motion to approve the presented pay schedule. I'm going to list Listen no. Out. no. Good for, for Deerfield non-union and for district uh, personnel non-union. Second that. Team. Seven. And uh, seeing there's no further discussion, all in favor? Aye. 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 It's unanimous. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, motion to adjourn Motion to adjourn. Second. Any discussion? Anyone want to stay longer? No. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. And Tina, thank you for. Yes, thank you.